Welcome to Simple Time. In this video, we will explain the changes in the HMVC shield and provide a simplified installation guide. Execute this command to install the project app locally. Copy the env file to .env and complete the database configuration. In this video, we will demonstrate using CodeIgniter 4.4.8. Once everything is ready, use the command composer require simple time slash HMVC shield to install our package. After the installation is complete, execute the setup command php spark simple time setup. This command includes all configurations for HMVC and shield, simplifying the installation process. Do you need to create a database? The default option is Y. If you have an existing project and have already completed the database configuration, choose N. Do you want to install Shield? The default is Y. If you only need the HMVC part, you can choose N, and it will jump to the final step. When selecting Y, it creates the basic configuration files for Shield and asks whether you need to configure email settings if you require magic login and other email related services. For this demonstration, we will uniformly choose N, run Spark Migrate now. The default option is Y. This migration mainly sets up tables related to user authentication, including the session table and the admin seed. Finally, do you want to publish assets, views, and config? This step copies the assets to the current public folder, updates the $views property in author PHP with the default views, and creates the stnconfig.php file. Now, the installation is complete. Execute PHP Spark serve to start the app. Let's open the login page and enter the default seeded email and password. You can find this seed information in the readme file. This way, we have successfully completed the installation and login. These are the basic usages. By adding admin at the end of a usage command, it will generate a module that requires authentication. We can configure routes for each module in config slash routes.php, which will automatically sync with the entire application. Now, we need to configure the sidebar. Open stnconfig.php and find the dollar $sidebar property. There are two examples here, one is a direct link NAV item, and the other is a drop-down NAV item. Label is the text display of the parent module. Attribute is for classes, IDs, icon underscore class is for the icon you want to display. This package has built-in font awesome 5 and bootstrap 4. Anchor is similar, with the usage of setting the anchor's ref, class, ID. For the drop-down item, the basic configuration is the same, but there is an additional key for drop-down items. This is the HMVC folder structure. All generated modules will be centralized in the modules folder to manage MVC and config. All usage commands are universal. If you need to create a controller and views that require authentication and an admin template, you can add admin at the end. Now, let's create two controller files and configure the routes. It should be admin slash users since it is under the admin route group. This package does not modify the original usage of CodeIgniter 4, it just adds an extender to the existing framework, so you can use it with confidence. This is the end of the video. I hope it is helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below the video, or if you find any issues, you can create an issue in the repository. Additionally, we will discuss the philosophy and goals of this HMVC Shield package in depth in the next video, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode.